All right, so one thing I did was I went ahead and took off the card guide because it's just really easy to break when you're manipulating the carriage back into place. And it's just two screws, one on each side, super easy. Um, so, removing and replacing the carriage. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is the draw band. This is getting on camera. Let's see. So I'm going to take the draw band here. It's attached right here. And I'm just going to attach it to right down there. So it might be kind of hard to film this part, so I can just show. So all you're going to do is just very carefully unhook that. Now, something to be mindful of whenever you unhook the draw or whenever you uh, have the draw band hooked and you're going to remove the carriage, the band is going to be really close to those mar margin stops and some other little areas that it can snag while you're removing it and the little bell and stuff back there. So just be careful with that. I mean, worst case, these are easy to retighten anyway if it does slip. This tiny little loop is hard to get on there sometimes, but or this loop is so small, I really don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to do this. So it's easier on me. I'm just taking a paper clip and doing that instead. It's just easier to deal with. Okay. So I am looking up in there to see if it's going to snag on anything. So should be good. All right. So... Gonna turn that all the way over till that's that little tab is sideways in there. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, now to do the other side, I had to go answer the door really quick. Okay, so I do the same thing with the other side. You're just gonna unscrew it until that's sideways. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. There we go. Um, okay, then let's just go ahead and center the carriage again, and you're going to gently pick it up. See how I kind of have that paper clip? I've got that teeny, teeny little loop right there, and it just is a pain to get on that spot. Okay, so the carriage is now off. Putting the carriage back on. I hope I can get this on camera. <laughs> Let me re-angle it real quick. So putting it back on. Hopefully I can catch this well. So on these tabs, you're going to want to make sure they're both still sideways. Okay. Alright, so looking at the bottom of this thing, you want to make sure these margin stops here are centered on this little guy right here. Okay. So putting this back on, I'm just going to kind of, let me angle this up because I'm about to try to get eye level with it so you can see what's going on. Hopefully this camera will be. Alright, so we're putting this back on. Just going to kind of wiggle that little guy in there. One of my tabs slid up. You gotta make sure those tabs stay sideways the whole time. Alright, so center that. And then, after that's centered.
make sure these tabs stay to the side like how that one's just ever so slightly not that's going to keep it from seating Same thing on the other side. Make sure that it's centered on there. And just kind of wiggle it around that little part until it feels nice and snug. And I like to hold my hand on top of it while I'm tightening it so it can't pop back up on me. Okay. Okay, wiggle it until it's snug in place where it's supposed to be. Retighten it while you hold it in place. Before you put your draw band back, go ahead and slide it. Okay, seems good. And then carefully flip it back up. Uh -oh. Got snagged. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't blurry, but I mean, it's just reversing what we did earlier with the draw band. See how tiny this loop is? I'm going to have to fix that because it's going to get on my nerves. Usually these loops aren't this freaking small. There we go. Okay, so that's back in place. I think a lot of people get caught up on the plastic card guide and then also they don't wiggle those tabs on each side as they reinstall it and like seat it, seat the carriage and then hold it in place as you screw the tab back into place. That's a big help. So that's all there is to it.